In this ROS2 TF2 tutorial, I will show you how to make your own TF2 static broadcaster in Python. We will go over creating the package, updating the package.xml and setup.py files, and reviewing the source code, run our static broadcaster, and discuss how we publish static transform in practice. So as you can see here, by the end of this video, we'll see us outputting the transform, the translation and rotation in the terminal. So if you need some Python references, I have some videos on classes, inheritance, and if name is main, so go check it out. So first off, we want to create the package and review the source code. So we're going to go ahead and copy our learning TF2Py from this uh, lesson into our source folder. So I have my files here, and this contains everything that we need for this demo. So first off, uh, we created the package using the ROS2 package create command. So um, we already did that step, and then we added the source files to the folder. So we have the static turtle tf2 broadcaster.py. So we're going to go ahead and go over that file. So inside of here, we're going to go inside the source folder, and this is our main function that we're implementing. So this is the static turtle tf2 broadcaster.py that allows us to print out. So if we look at our main function, we have a logger, um, logger get logger here. And we see our main functions. So the structure of this is we have a quaternion from Euler here, and then we have a static frame publisher. And then inside we have an init, a make transform, and then our main function here. Okay, so most of the logic here, we do some check, uh, look at how many parameters we're getting. And if we have a world parameter, uh, it says your static cannot be named world, and then it'll exit. So it just does some basic check. After it does some basic check, it's going to run the init. It's going to start the static frame publisher here based on your arguments, and then start the node and shut down after you're done. So let's go ahead and jump into the static frame publisher here. So if we take a look at here, this is inherited from a node class here. So we have a niche uh, constructor here called init. It does a super because we're inheriting so we're going to have a name called static turtle tf2 broadcaster. And then inside of here, we're going to be storing that as tf2 static broadcaster. So we have the static transform uh, broadcaster here. So we see that this is comes from the static transform broadcaster. So we're creating an instance of that object. And then here, we're going to be calling um, self. We're going to use the self make transform. So this make transform here is a function that we've defined. And then we're going to pass in the transform. So here inside make transform, we have a transform stamped. So you see that's from geometry messages dot messages. So that's just the type of um, time that we're using. So this time has different attributes. It has a header dot stamp. This is going to get it from get clock now dot to message. It's going to have a frame ID called world, and then it has a child frame ID which we'll get from transform the first index or actually zero index, the second index because it's um, zero indexed. So here we get X and Y, X, Y, Z components from two, three, and four index. And then here from the five, six, seven, we could get the quaternion from Euler because we're getting these from Euler angles, the RP, uh, RPY, so roll pitch yaw. And then from there, we get the quaternion expression. Quaternion is gonna be a one by four vector so here we get the x, y, z, and w components. So after we do that, we could actually broadcast it. We're going to use the send transform command. And this pretty much wraps up our static turtle tf2 broadcaster function. So next up, we want to modify our package.xml and setup.py file. So if we take a look at the things we've added in our package.xml, we have added the geometry messages, the Python 3 NumPy, the RCLPy, the TF2 ROSPy, and the turtle sim. And inside our setup.py, the things we've added is this part here, the static turtle TF2 broadcaster, and the main function inside. So after we made all the changes, we want to build our package. So we want to build our package using the Colkin build packages select learning TF2. And you want to make sure you're in the ROS2 workspace. You can run this ROS step install um, to make sure everything is uh, working. So to actually run the static broadcaster, what we want to do is um, source into our 
set up here and then run ROS2 run learning TF2 Pi static turtle TF2 broadcaster my static turtle and the position, which is an XYZ RX RY RZ format. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And then in another terminal, we're going to echo the static transform. So we're going to go to our workspace and run ROS2 topic echo um, TF static. And you can see it outputs um, the message, which is has the timestamp as well as the frame ID, child frame, uh, frame ID, and the translation and rotation. So to publish static transform in practice, uh, usually you want to use the XYZ and RPRY. So you would use the ROS to run TF2 ROS uh, static transform publisher, and you could specify using the dash dash X, and then your X value dash dash Y, the Y value, and dash dash Z, the Z value. And you could specify the roll pitch jaw as well as the frame IDs here. So this is using some of the ROS uh, TF to ROS tools that comes available if you weren't making your own. And if you have quaternions, you could use the ROS to run TF2 ROS static transform publisher. And it's going to be similar, except this is using quaternions, as you can see here with the queues. And you could use a launch file as well. So to use a launch file, you would uh, structure it like this, where you have um, the TF2 ROS, and we're using the static transform publisher and you will specify the components as we did up above. Okay, so in our next video, we're going to talk about TF2 Broadcaster in Python. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.